<laughs> okay, nice. Okay, here I am having Martin. Ja. Right? Yes. From Skåne. Skåne, yes. <laughs> oh my god, hope. You've probably seen this man out there on YouTube interviewing different people. Oh! Oh! oh. The tongue twisters are my favorite, I would say. And your personality in general is just so cool. It's matching the international vibe and international. Um, it's not Swedish. Maybe because you're from south of Sweden, you're not a Stockholmer. You're no. not a, you know, the serious <laughs> guy. <laughs> Where did you go? Why did you end up interviewing people from around the world? What, what is so interesting about it? Like, I, I feel that when, when you bring your own culture, your own self. Uh, and then you meet someone else with a different culture, something happens with you. You become sort of like a, <laughs> a bigger or better person because yeah. suddenly you're being influenced by something you weren't brought up with. Yeah. It can be language, it can be food, it can be culture, it can be ways of thinking. It makes you bigger and better in yeah. a way. What did you learn? What would you say did you learn? What is the most significant thing you did learn from a foreigner? Is that, was the most memorable thing I would say, oh my God, this is so amazing. I would never, I would have never learned this in Sweden. It's just so insane. What is that? Oh, it's that's a that, that's a big question. <laughs> um, I, I did I did a video in 2015 where I brought a lot of people together from different parts of the world, what, where they said their their name, uh, what their name was, and and their country in their language, filmed in their country, uh, over a hundred people, and then I got to know some of these people uh, on the side and. Uh, one of them was this guy from Yemen who was who had disappeared for a while because of war. And there was this other guy from Northern Africa who said, I, I would like to film, but my camera is on the other side of the city and there's military. And then that's just a perspective that you don't really get as a Swede. Yeah, like how do you put yourself in someone's shoes like this? Like, yeah, I mean, it, it's, I, I mean, obviously I have so many encounters of, with so many people, but I think that getting a perspective on what goes on in other countries beyond what media reports hmm. because media is limited to, yeah. to what they can and report all, many times it's not even real some in many... no it, it's it's packaged yeah uh, exactly what would you say is the most difficult language you learn <laughs> or something some some words or some uh, basics what is like the most difficult maybe even a nationality to uh, yeah, it's a language and nationality. Do you, do you, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Funnily enough, and this is a language that my little brother has mastered because he he lives with a girl from this country, uh, Polish. Oh. There's just something about <laughs> sticking your hand in an electric socket. Uh, Lithuanian can be Swedish? Lithuanian like... can be tricky too because the words they feel very long. Um, Not well. I, I cannot I, I cannot relate because this is. Uh, really similar to Ukrainian, so yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I but, can. But Slavic sure. languages are definitely uh, difficult. Yeah, for me. I mean, yeah. I've, stu I've studied Roman languages. Yeah, like like, like French and Spanish. Spanish, yeah. yeah. Um, nice, nice. But uh, Slavic is like <clears throat> it's just things they do with their mouth. What would you say is the big difference between the biggest difference between like foreigners and Swedes? Do you have more friends that would be Swedes? or international people and who do you prefer? Uh, Swedes are, tend to be very closed in. Uh, Swedes will not take the first step. Oh, but what do you, need? you need a couple of shots. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you put alcohol in it and then it's no problem. But as soon as Swedes go abroad, something happens. It's like as soon as they get out of their like natural habitat, they start to open up. I mean, there's alcohol. Why is that? There all there's alcohol involved. But, but also, I don't know if it's something about being here that just makes you You cannot become, be, yeah. I mean, I'm not like that. I mean, sure, I can be introvert as well, but I'm also one of those like, if I, <laughs> shame on me, but if I, if I see like someone, okay, I know that that's a foreigner on the street. I'm like, ooh, language challenge. <laughs> I would definitely say that uh, you're right when it comes to like Swiss opening up out there in a different country. I saw that. And it's really, really true that people are like more, it's like a, a, a cage. 
yeah. that you follow some standard and structure and you mm. cannot change that and I don't understand why. Like, why is that? I, I don't really know why it is like that. If it's something with the, the Swedish upbringing, I mean, like a, like, you know, the stereotype of an Italian family where everybody's like, rah, 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 no, at the dinner table. No, that is also super insane. But you don't really Boom, have that in a... Sweden. Yeah, what do you prefer? What do you prefer? No, I, I like when there's lot, lots of life and, and, and people talking. Hmm. Although, I, I guess <laughs> getting a word in could be tricky. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> My last, it's not a question, but it's some kind of question to you personally. What oh. kind of advice would you give a foreigner living in Sweden when it comes to making friends? Because this is one of the freaking mm. most difficult things here in Sweden, making friends, especially Swedes as yeah. friends. Because internationally it's so easy, because we are like on the same boat, we yeah, are experiencing yeah. the same, and sometimes we have the same language, the same culture, the same, you know, passions. But when it comes to making friends as Swedes, okay, they can be nice, everyone is super nice and so on, mm. but then they just go back to their cycle of friends. Yeah, yeah. Friends when in sports, friends at work, friends at so on, I don't know. But yeah. never like your freaking best friends, they cannot be. So is it something that this will never change? Or is there some tricks or what? I feel like you have to kind of <laughs> take this or the right way. Or the language barrier maybe? Uh, maybe people don't want to speak English, maybe you have to speak No, Swedish. no, Swedes love speaking English. Okay. I mean, they, they, Swedes are taught English very early on. And that's yeah. the problem with learning Swedish, is that they will switch to English so fast. Hmm. So it's almost like you have to, if you're learning Swedish and you're in Sweden, you hmm. have to almost have to force your Swedish friends, speak yeah. Swedish to me. Yeah. Or at least like, okay, for the next five minutes, <clears throat> only Swedish, nothing hmm. else. Yeah. Because otherwise you, they will never learn. But, I mean, you, you just have to, you have to force yourself on a Swede. <laughs> it's like, let's go out tonight, you and me. And the Swedish will be like, Okay. And one last question. What is like the most common stereotype you think uh, foreigners have about Sweden and assume it's true? We all have blue eyes. Uh, we're blonde. <laughs> this is mostly males. Well, females. Well. Um, we're, we're gullible. <laughs> but we're also oh very like trustworthy. Yeah, okay. This is one of the things that I think it's true when it comes to um, trustworthy people here. Mm. Maybe because, maybe one of the reasons it's hard making friends because people don't know you, but once mm. they get to know you, they become your close friends forever. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you for being in my channel and I hope you guys liked this video with this amazing guy over here. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments down below and I see you guys in the next video. Bye! Polar bear! No. <laughs>